Hello, I'm John from IO50, and today in this video, I'm going to talk about IO50's TC welder. The TC welder is a low-cost thermocouple welder packed with the features that are typically found in much higher priced welders. In this video, we'll review the TC welder and its feature set. We'll also show how to use the TC welder to make a thermocouple weld. The welder comes with all the accessories you need to start welding as soon as you take it out of the box. We'll show these accessories later in this video. One of the best things about the TC welder is that it's easy to use. With just a few practice welds, you'll be able to make professional thermocouple welds in no time at all. The welder can be powered from either AC power or its internal battery. IO Thrifty includes a 110 volt AC power cord with the welder, but the welder can be powered from 90 to 250 volts AC. Its internal battery is charged from the AC power and when charged can weld right from battery power without AC connection. This makes the TC welder a great choice for portable welding applications. The TC welder is usually used on a bench and has an adjustable stand mount that allows it to sit flat on a bench top or at an angle. The mount can also be used as a carrying handle, which is a nice feature, especially if you want to carry the welder into the field. With this welder, you have the option of welding with or without argon gas. On the rear of the welder, there is a regulator and connection for the argon. The front panel has clearly marked controls for operating the welder. On the furthest left is the power switch. Next to the power switch is the auto manual button, which controls the flow of argon gas. When in the auto mode, argon gas flows whenever a weld is made. When in the manual mode, the argon gas flow is controlled by a remote foot switch attached to the remote port. This is the remote port. The discharge button is used to adjust the charge on the capacitor. We'll demonstrate that when we de demonstrate a weld later. The carbon electrode is surrounded by a porcelain shield. Thermocouple welds are made by touching the thermocouple wires to the carbon electrode while holding the thermocouple with the included welding pliers. The welding pliers are plugged into the output port on the right of the panel. You can use the welder for making spot welds. To do this, you would use the included welding clamp. The welding clamp plugs into the port right below the carbon electrode. We'll discuss that in more detail later in this video. The three status lights are the ready indicator, which shows that the welder is ready for welding, the weight indicator, which when lit shows the internal capacitor is charging and the welder is in a non-welding state, and the battery indicator, which when lit means that there is insufficient power to operate the welder on battery power alone. You're able to control the power level used when welding by adjusting the power level knob. The amount of power is shown on the power level meter. Now we're going to move over to the workbench and demonstrate how easy, easy it is to make a weld. We've moved over to the workbench now where we're going to demonstrate a thermocouple weld. I've already turned on my welder. The first thing I want to do is adjust my power level setting. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a power level setting of 35. The power level setting that you use is determined by the size of the thermocouple wire as well as the type of wire. So we're going to adjust up our power level now. And I'm deliberately going to overshoot it to demonstrate another uh, feature of the, of the welder. So we've, we've brought it up to 38. Now, if we want to lower it to 35, um, what we're going to do is drop back the uh, power level knob. But we also have to discharge the internal capacitor. So I'm going to use the discharge button to, to perform that function. And now I'm going to bring it back up to 35. And 35 is, 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 a, is just a, a rough estimate of where we want to be. Uh, it's not that precise. Okay, we'll go with 37. Next thing I need to do is plug in my welding pliers. The welding pliers, which are shown here, uh, plug into the out port, which is right below the power level knob. And now I'm going to grab my thermocouple wire 
with the welding pliers. I've already twisted the ends of my thermocouple wires together. Okay. So I've, I've, grabbed the, I've grabbed the thermocouple wires with the plier and uh, you may want to grab it as close as possible to that tip of the wire to give you a better weld. Now before I weld I need to put on my glasses and now I'm just going to touch the, the thermocouple wire to the carbon electrode. And I've made my weld. We're going to zoom in now so you can take a little better look at that weld. Very quick and easy. Um, with a little bit of practice, you'll be welding uh, within a few moments after getting the, getting the welder. We're next going to demonstrate how to make a spot weld. We've set up our welder for the spot welding demonstration. I'm going to weld the thermocouple we've already made to a steel washer. I still have my welding pliers plugged into the output port, but now I've also plugged my welding clamp into the port right below the carbon electrode. I've attached the other end of the welding clamp to the washer, and again I'm going to use the welding pliers to hold my thermocouple. Just like when we made our thermocouple weld, we have to adjust the welder power for the right setting. For welding the wire to the washer, I'm going to use a power setting of around 35. I'm now ready to weld, but first I'll put on my welding glasses. To make the weld, I just touch the thermocouple to the washer. And it's all done. The thermocouple has been welded to the washer. Before concluding this video, I want to show the accessories that come with the welder. The welding pliers, a welding clamp used for spot welding, welding glasses, a foot pedal switch for controlling the flow of argon gas, power cord, a spare carbon electrode, a fuse, and an Allen key wrench for removing the carbon electrode. and, of course, a user manual. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call us, email us, or even chat online with us at iothrifty.com.